A proton moving at a speed of 75,000 meters per second horizontally to the right enters a uniform magnetic field of 0 .050 Tesla, which is directed vertically downward. Find the direction and magnitude of the magnetic force on the proton. First let's draw what we have. We have a proton moving to the right, so that's the velocity, and the magnetic field is vertically downward. So the first nice thing about this is they're perpendicular, okay, and we just want to consider the perpendicular component of the magnetic field to the velocity, and that's basically all we're given, so that's not going to be a problem. So let's pull out the tab here. So the first part is the magnitude. We use the equation F equals QV times B perpendicular. This is a charge on a proton. You don't have to memorize that. That will always be provided to you. Here's the velocity, and here's the magnetic field perpendicular to the velocity. So we come up with 6.0 times 10 to the minus 6 newtons. And notice how we've kept two significant figures throughout the problem. Now what direction is this in? So I have to take the four fingers of my right hand, okay, and I want to twist them into B. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. What I have, I'll set this up for you. Just point your thumb into the page, and then you can see your right, your uh, right hand's four fingers are pointing off to the right. I now want to curl them in the direction of the magnetic field, which is down. So I move my four fingers down, and right before it hits the palm of my hand, you can see it was pointing down into the magnetic field. My thumb is pointing into the page, so that's the direction that this proton would move. Another way of looking at that is pretend you have a screwdriver and there's a screw right at the intersection of the B vector and the V vector. I want to turn that V vector into the B. Now if you've got a regular screwdriver and a right-handed screw, which is pretty much all we have, you turn that screwdriver, you rotate V into B, and which way is that screw going to go? It's going to go into the wall. So that's another way of looking at this. Instead of the right-hand rule, you can kind of use a screwdriver rule. 